Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus with automatic disposal of what is inside the bin. So it just saves you a trip to the garbage can. Super clean process, by the way. Number one, the price is super high. Is it worth it? So we're gonna go ahead and look at some key features of it. Now, something to keep in mind before we do get started is probably one of the most common problems with the Roomba S9 Plus is the mapping. So if you're having problems problems at mapping your entire house. What you wanna do is we're gonna show you in the video through the app, but you need to run it about two to three times in a specific location if it's having trouble mapping that certain area. On the first go around, it might go around, it might not map it properly. So go ahead, as we're gonna show you in the video, let it run two to three times in that specific area it's having trouble mapping and that will fix your issue. we go it just released its suction and it scooped everything back up into the contraption right there now of course if you do want to go ahead and remove it these are disposable bags and so once this is full then you just throw this away very simple one-stop shop what we just heard was it sucking it into the contraption box into the bag and you throw that away now again great for pet hair great being able to clean it up, not to mention a very nice LED light as well. Now the S9 Plus is compatible with Alexa and obviously probably with Google as well. So you can just speech to go ahead and pause it if you want or of course with the app, go ahead and pause it. As you saw there, it just bumped in with the shock absorber right on the front, being able to get right around the edges of the coffee table here. And again, beautiful for pet hair and dust and dander as it just continues to head on and go ahead and just slightly bump into the wall there turn around and come on back here. And it of course has all the features, the drop sensors, so it won't fall down your stairs. It'll get to the edge and then it will be able to turn around without obviously dropping it down the stairway. Let's see what happens when it bumps into my knee. It'll probably just map itself out a little bit. Kind of maybe threw it for a little bit of a loop there as it bumped into my leg kind of go that way a little bit until it recalibrates. Now, if you want to manually stop it here, you just head over and you just push on clean one more time and it will stop. Let's go ahead and take a look at it a little bit more closely here as we can see the ventilation in the back here. Of course, we have our LED light right around here and we have the mapping technology on the top right here with a camera and right here with our radar sensor right up front here, our bumper stop right here as we can see, pushes in. We have a home button, location button, clean button off and on right here. Flipping it around to the bottom, here are your drop sensors right on the back of it here, or the front, whatever you like to consider that. You have your pivot wheel here, your big wheels right here, and your patented double roll technology right here. That again is a double roller with one brush in the corner here. Here is your automatic dirt dispenser that it sucks out from this location right there into your dustbin. Here's your charging prongs right here as well. You also have more sensors on the side right here on each side of the wheel and brush right there as well. Not to mention this sensor over here on the right hand side and then this one with two sensors in the back as well for drop proof technology. It's actually not too loud. But you definitely have to be careful if someone is taking a nap or something like that, but it's a lot quieter than an actual vacuum corded. 
but definitely play around with it and see how you feel about it. But it's not over the top too loud. I'd say about half the noise volume of a regular corded vacuum. All right, guys, we're gonna look at the app now here, and we're gonna show you a couple key features about mapping. So it, to fix or to help it find an area that it has not been able to find, once it's run three times, your main floor map will open up. You're gonna go and you're gonna create a clean zone. You're gonna add a clean zone. And then wherever the area is that the robot does not seem to be able to discover, you're gonna create a clean zone in that area. Once you have your clean zone created, you're gonna send the robot to clean that specific zone a couple of times sometimes, two, three times. And then once it's cleaned that area two or three times, it will add information to the map. So if I had portions of the house here that it hadn't discovered yet, I could send it to this clean zone and it would attempt to clean this whole area and any new space it discovered, it would report back. I did this with my master bathroom. It initially did not discover my master bathroom. So I created a clean zone in my master bathroom and then I sent it to clean this area two, three times. And after it had cleaned this master bathroom, it had lo it located all of this and mapped it. Same thing with this walk-in closet here. Um, it took a couple of times for it to get it, but once it did, it knows, and I haven't had a problem since. That's off-limit zone? Yeah, so this is a keep-out zone. In my office, I have cords um, underneath this desk. You tap on that if you want to add another one. Yeah, you can add another one. So I have a keep out zone here. So when it goes to clean the office, it doesn't get all tangled up in the cords. So the key features of this is gonna be for pet hair. Having pets and dogs, this does a fantastic job. Convenience factor, being able to literally lift out the bag and throw it away. Now for the price range, this is the cream of the crop. In my personal opinion, I'm a little bit more budget friendly and I don't like to spend that much money on things. But with that said, it's new technology, it's good technology. If you have the cash and you're not going into debt for it and if you've saved or you have extra money and you would like to spend it on that, I'm gonna leave that up to you. My personal opinion, I would choose a cheaper option that has great reviews for pet hair, self-disposal, etc., mapping features, off-limits features, etc but that is just my personal opinion. With that said though, the dual roller is a great feature. The side brush does work. I'm not sure why they didn't go with the double side brushes. It has the double roller, but I'm not sure why they didn't go again with the dual side brush being able to sweep it constantly instead of just the one side. So in conclusion, this technology is just like a large television. 75 inch televisions are now under $1,000. When they first came out, they were like $2,500. So you guys get the idea as the technology progresses, and this just becomes the norm. It comes down in price. You can wait for it then. Or if you're really thirsty to spend those stimulus checks, again, please put food on your table before you buy a robotic vacuum. I'll leave that up to you. In the description box below is gonna be the link for this exact same iRobot Roomba S9 Plus. It does also have the companion mop as well. If there's big enough requests for that, we will review the mop as well. So thumbs that video up if it has helped you make a more of an informed decision or just put a robotic vacuum with self-disposal on the radar. Subscribe on your way out as well. We got a lot more videos ahead, so stay tuned for that. My name's Chris. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.